In today's video, not only are we going to talk about one boxy charm, we're going to be talking about two boxy charms, June and July's, because I forgot to do June, so I might as well just mix it in with July and just make a uh, collaborating video with both months. I know I've definitely been MIA for a really long time, which has been so busy with work, and I'm going to be starting school and all this other miscellaneous things that I got going on in my life. But enough of my rant, so let's just go ahead and start with the video. So I actually just woke up and I have obviously absolutely nothing on my face. I did get my face a little rinsed down because the first thing we're going to go in with is this cleansing mask. This mask is by Pharmacy. It is a Bright On Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on my finger. You can go ahead and use like a brush that actually would be smarter. And I'm just gonna apply this all throughout my face. Supposedly this mask is gonna change color. It's gonna be from purple to green. <laughs> It says make sure to avoid any eye contact. I'm gonna grab a little bit more because this isn't enough for my whole face. So like I said, avoid any eye contact and we're gonna leave this on for five to 10 minutes. And it says to use this three to four times a week, I think, or did I read that wrong? Let me see. Three to four times. I meant two to three times a week. I'm not gonna leave it here and hopefully it doesn't take that long to turn green. How long is it supposed to turn green? It doesn't even say. Just says, watch magic happen as you massage this vitamin C clay mask onto your skin, turning from purple to green. The pharmacy bright on mask removes impurities and builds up while improving your skin's brightness, texture, and tone. And as I'm saying that, I am getting a tingling sensation onto my face. This retails for $38. Okay, so this is kind of upsetting because my face didn't turn green and it's been a little over 10 minutes my face does feel a little stuck like i need to wash this off which is what i'm gonna do right now so i'll be right back the mask really did make my feel feel nice and smooth but now it's time to moisturize i'm gonna go into june's boxy charm with this wow that smells amazing guys it's like a rich Cocoa butter, tropical, smell like cream. So this is a Sol de Janeiro, Janeria, what? This is pretty much a Brazilian bum bum cream and it is supposed to be super soothing and tightening. This cream is inspired by Brazilian's favorite feature. It's creamy and rich, a native Arizonian plant whose fruit contains one of the most potent forms of caffeine. This also retails for $10. So like I told you, I'm gonna be jumping around and around and around between June and July's boxy charm. So up next is the Chela Beauty Tantalizing Twop eyebrow cream so this is the brush and then you just twist it off a little bit and the product is inside here so I am just gonna go ahead and apply some of the product onto the brush it's kind of hard to pick up product actually because the brush is diagonal but whatever Let, let's try it Chella Beauty created eyebrow cream effortlessly defines and shapes your eyebrows with its creamy consistency and built-in brush. The velvet-like formula makes blending easy then sets, giving you perfect brows that will last all day and night. I will say the brush is super soft and the product is really buildable and workable, although it's just really hard to collect product from inside here. Just It's just a really weird angle. And if I didn't mention this already, this product runs for $26. Um, I'm not too fond of the price just because it's really hard to pick up the product. Although the product feels really super weightless, like I, I feel I have nothing on my brows and it really is easy to blend with. This is something that I would carry on my bag just in case I forgot to do my eyebrows and I'm just running around really quick. I could just pop this out, twist this off, add some product, and paint my brows. Actually, I got kind of lucky because this is like low-key my color kind of a little too dark but I could work with it. I went ahead and perfected my eyebrows with some concealer so I look a little funny. BoxyCharm always delivers palettes and in both June and July we received two eyeshadow palettes. In June's BoxyCharm we received this package by Olimar. It is a beautiful colorful palette. <laughs> 
<laughs> four of them are very shimmery and the other four are matte. My two favorite from this palette is Celia and Bar... Bardero? Bardero. 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 I wanted to go ahead and swatch these two colors for you and... <gasps> Look how freaking gorgeous these are. Like these are super beautiful, super festive, super creamy, and super pigmented. Can you see? And then this beautiful, colorful palette retails for $28. So BoxyCharm hooked us up with another palette in July's package. And this beauty right here, this is something that I will use every single day. Let me show you why. This palette right here, honey. This palette right here. You have all your beautiful shades of browns. You have transitions. You have something to warmth in. You have some highlighting colors. You have some shimmery colors. This would be your highlighting color. Not all of them, but this one for sure. But this right here is gorge. Absolutely gorge. You have like some darkish, purplish colors right here, and then some brown tones right here. This color right here looks freaking amazing. So you see that? Why did I swatch so funny? Why did I do that? Now I'm all like, but do you see how pretty that is? This is actually the palette that I'm gonna work with today for the eyelids because we look a little bit naked. And this crown eyeshadow palette retails for $29.99. I already add some primer to my eyelid. The first color I'm gonna go with is this brownish tannish color. Using my Morphe M504 brush, I am just gonna apply that all over my crease and above. Just working it, girl, I am working it. This is a nice, subtle transition color for myself. Hitting it in windshield wiping motions. And then just to get a better blend, I'm gonna go in circular motions as well. These shadows feel very, very lightweight. They feel very blendable as well. And they are just performing amazing. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more warmth. And I'm gonna hit it with this kid right here. Tap out the excess. And I'm just gonna do that exactly on the crease, going in little circular motions. I'm not gonna do anything too creative. I'm just do a little smoky eye with some shimmery shine on the lid. And I'm also using the same brush to add in some extra warmth. We are gonna go in with these two shades and I'm just gonna go hit it back and forth. Tap out the excess. I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush because I can. And I'm mainly just hitting that in the outer corner. These shadows are super easy to blend with. Like literally it's not giving me a hard time to blend any of my shades together. It's making everything look super seamless. Like it is one team going on right here. We are one. Like a little nice ombre effect going on right here. Between each shade I am going ahead and dusting off the excess product on here. I'm not showing that on camera on the other two, but I went ahead and showed you guys right now just to show you guys I am cleaning my brush through every shade. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease using Rumor by Pete Louise. I absolutely love this stuff because it actually brightens up all your colors, or all your eyeshadow colors, pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat that onto the lid. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. With my packing brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick this beautiful color. Oh, I'm so excited for the outcome. And I'm just going to pack it all over my lid where I place my rumor. And this color is freaking gorge. Gorgeous, I tell you. Look at that. Gorge. To make sure these colors blend properly, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the two darkest shades that I used. And I'm just going to blend that with the shimmery shade that I just applied on my lid right now. Blending these bad boys together. I want to go ahead and add a little bit of highlight onto my brow using my Morphe M507 brush and just hitting it ever so lightly right at the arch of my brow. Next, I'm gonna go in with Baddington Monroe Lashes 
or Monroe Silk Lashes. And these are the babies that I'm going to be using today. Day. These retail for $28. So this is what the makeup looks with the lashes. Although I feel like these lashes are just a little too small. I like dramatic and big. But these would do if I want to do like a naked bare, like no eyeshadow look. Or maybe like a small wing liner, not too bold. And then I love this. If all else fails, bat your lashes. Up next, we got these three Luxie Foundation Foundation Flawless Brush Set. This one would be used as a powder brush this one would be used as a foundation brush and this one would be used as a highlighter brush although these two brushes I would actually use for like my baking brushes for when I'm applying some translucent powder these are the brushes that I would actually use I wouldn't actually use this as my foundation brush that's just me personally I would most likely use this as a foundation brush for my cream foundation and that's exactly what I'm going to do so right now I'm just applying some primer onto my face. I want to do a dewy look today so I'm just going to go ahead and apply some dewy foundation from the Maybelline collection, Maybelline Fit Me collection. And I'm just going to pack a little bit onto this brush. And I am just going to apply that everywhere. Hat and a slight drag, I would say. Barely touching my skin as well. I want an absolutely flawless application. I absolutely love this foundation because a little bit definitely goes a long freaking way. This brush is working amazing onto my skin and with the foundation. There's no streakage happening. Everything is just applying so smoothly. Dang, this might be my go-to brush. Okay, so I went ahead and added a light coat of concealer and some contour. Now it's time to set my foundation with some translucent powder. And that's when this helpy helper comes in. This is the Precision Foundation Brush. But I want to show you some similarities to the Morphe G35 brush. This is the brush that I always use to add my... Um, translucent powder and I just want to show you how similar they look. The translucent powder I'm going to go in with is the Laura Mercier. I'm going to go ahead and pick this brush up, pack a little bit onto it, tap out any excess because this shit is potent. And I'm just going to lightly press it onto anywhere I feel like I'm going to crease, which would be underneath my eyes my smile line sometimes my chin not too much and then just in case my forehead <laughs> the next part i'm going to use is from july's boxy charm this is by no cosmetics and this is like a pretty peachy blush i'm gonna go ahead and grab my bh cosmetic 134 brush just gonna pat a little bit because I do not know how pigment this is and blush doesn't really go good with me but I feel like it will really complement this eye look so I'm gonna go ahead and yep super pretty return damn it I'm just gonna blend that onto my contour and it looks like it's blending in kind of nice I don't know what I can do it looks kind of scary this thing is super duper pigmented I'm literally trying to blend it as much as I can so it doesn't look too pinky rosy onto my face oh, oh and did I mention this shit is $11.99 good price now I'm gonna add some highlight and this brush would be perfect for it this is the taper highlighter brush and did I forget to mention that this three-piece brush set comes out to $42 I think it's a deal. I think it's a deal. So I'm gonna go back with this palette and I'm gonna use La Costa and I'm just gonna pack a little bit because these things are super rich and I'm just gonna apply that onto my cheekbones and look at that. Bright like this shit is good to go, honey. I'm gonna apply some in the center of my nose like this and then on the tip of my nose. Okay, before I go any further, I need to go ahead and smoke out the lower lash line because I look a bit nude there. I'm going to go ahead and use a flat brush. Flat brush. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. And I'm going to go in with this color. Apply that onto my lash line. And then to add a little bit of warmth on the outer corner, I'm going to go ahead and mix it with these two colors as well. Tap out the excess. And boom. 
FYI, forgive me because you might hear PJ Masks in the background. My son is watching TV in the other room and he's also in this room right now. He just got in here. And Jude's Boxy Charm, they went ahead and gave us a liner and a lip, uh, liquid lip gloss, I, liquid lipstick. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I can't talk while I'm applying this, so give me a second. <laughs> In Jin's collection, they went ahead and gave us this eyeliner pencil, and it is super duper dark brown, super duper pigmented. You get really, 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 really creamy, and it's only five dollars, and which is what I applied on my waterline right now. To end this makeup look, I'm gonna go ahead with Over Cosmetics. This is also in the June's Boxy Charm. Go ahead and open this. This baby retails for $21, honey. It is a beautiful brown color. Don't mind my son, he's making all that extracurricular activity noise in the background. And remember I mentioned I was gonna add some mascara. This mascara is by Wander Beauty. It is called Unlash Volume and Curl Mascara. This one is from the July Boxy Charm, and it retails for $21. This is the wand and it is intensely glossy mascara that will bring your lashes in a new height. Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add some setting spray. This is the Murphy setting spray. I absolutely love this. So this is the official look on everything I used on BoxyCharm today. I actually think I used every single little thing. Let's do a little breakdown. We are gonna focus on June's BoxyCharm. In June, we were greeted by this beautiful rainforest palette that cost $28. We also have this Biotin Lashes that cost $28. And that is my son in the background talking. The third item is this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and I honestly will be using this probably every day until I have no more because this shit smells amazing and it feels amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. And it only retails for $10. So cheap, I might even buy another one. The next item is by Lexi. It's the three piece flawless complexion set, I guess. And it retails for $42 and these all work so good. I love these. Thank you, BoxyCharm. Fifth item is the Jointed Blue Liner that retails for $5. And last but not least, this is the Oprah Cometics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and this one retails for $21. And all these items came out to $134, but if you have BoxyCharm, you only pay like 21 bucks. So, subscribe y'all now let's talk about july's package okay first item i used was this pharmacy bright on mask it did confuse me a little bit because the package did say that the mask was supposed to turn from purple to green although that did not happen with me at all although it did make my skin feel really smooth and soft after i rinsed it off so i really can't complain this bad boy also retails for 38 dollars second item that we see is by crown cosmetics and oh my god these curlers are absolutely gorgeous and it's only 29.99 this is something that i would actually use for like my night out events or just like my everyday events because this is freaking gorgeous Third thing is this absolutely wonderful mascara that retails for $24. And let me tell you, every time I run out of mascara, BoxyCharm always pulls through. So I literally have not bought any mascaras for like two years. No joke, I am playing girl. Fourth item is the No Cosmetic Super Duper Pigmented Blush that took me forever to blend because I'm so freaking dark and because it's so freaking pigmented. Like, it doesn't look pigmented, but bro, it is. It is. This Desert Rose, that's the name, Desert Rose, I forgot to mention, retails for $11.99. Last but not least is a Z Brows. This beautiful two, uh, oh, this part's the twist, twist and pull. This retails for $26. And honestly, it's not going to be on my face, but it is something I could definitely just sneak inside my freaking bag. And if I don't do my eyebrows and I need to do a little quickie, and we get and all of June's items retail for $129.98. Wow. And you only get it for $21. 
This is outrageous. I absolutely love BoxyCharm. I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me with BoxyCharm, June and July's BoxyCharm and semi kind of swatches. If you guys really did like this video, go ahead and like what it. And if, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am what filming a video for BoxyCharm. Huh? I think he ran away. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Last thing, if we aren't friends on any of my other social medias, which is Snapchat and Instagram, because I am super active on there. Facebook, not really. Twitter, I just deleted it. But if you guys aren't friends with me there, go ahead and add me. And let's be friends. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I want to go ahead and swatch. Mommy. Yes, Kai Kai.